summer. Characterized by warmth, color, and abundance. There is a soundtrack created by the natural world which defines this time of year. And here, amongst the grass, it can be heard at its best. It's this time of year when grasshoppers and crickets are at their most active. But what are they shouting about? Well, as is the answer for many of life's curiosities, it's all about the pursuit of a partner. Grasshoppers and crickets belong to a group of insects called the Orthoptera. There are 28 species in the UK, and all the males are trying to get themselves hurt. They communicate by rubbing together parts of their body. This is called stridulation. Grasshoppers rub their legs on their wings. And crickets rub their wings together. But how is the sound actually produced? On the legs of the grasshoppers and the wings of the crickets, there are microscopic serrated files. By rubbing them over hard plectrums on their wings, it creates a sound, like rubbing a fingernail over a comb. Males which can call the loudest and most frequent are more attractive to females. But in some species, it's not quite as straightforward. This is a Mediterranean field cricket. And he's looking for a mate. Females can hear his call through an organ on their knees. He starts to sing a softer tune. He's a persistent one. It's paid off and she climbs on top. The male attaches a sperm package, known as a spermatophore, to the underside of the female. As long as this remains attached, he will have a good chance of fertilizing her eggs.
However, she isn't loyal and will happily mate with any male she deems more desirable. Therefore, he will guard her, continually touching her with his antennae for reassurance. While also keeping his eye out for rival males. Like this guy. These aggressive stridulations are a warning. But neither are willing to back down. That is a victory chirp. And with the spermatophore still in place, he should have ensured that there is enough time for complete ejaculate transfer. But mate guarding is a big investment and increases the risk of injury and predation. That's why some species opt for less virile techniques to keep their lady happy. This is Roselle's bush cricket. A sun-loving species, they're widespread across southeast England. Like other crickets, males will stridulate from a perch in hope of attracting a female, who is distinguishable by her large ovipositor. Once they've found each other, they will fence with their antennae. Gently does it. By filming in controlled conditions, we can observe the details of their mating. During mating, Males produce a gelatinous mass which attaches to the female's abdomen. It could weigh up to 30% of his body mass. It contains the seminal fluid and is surrounded by a jelly-like substance known as the spermatophylax. Nuptial gifts like these are common in bush crickets and serve multiple purposes. It may provide nutrients beneficial to the female, improving her fertility, but it also serves as a distraction long enough to allow for complete sperm transfer. Evidence also suggests that substances passed into the female 
induce a period during which she is unreceptive to the advances of other males. Which means her mate doesn't need to stick around. In the UK, habitats where you can hear this iconic summer shrill are fragile. Urbanization, coastal development and intensive agriculture have left orthopteran populations vulnerable. However, some developments, such as agricultural set-aside and roadside verges, have provided favourable habitat, albeit often isolated and fragmented. By restoring and protecting habitats for wildlife, we can help keep their songs alive and ultimately safeguard the sound of summer.